The best piece of general advice I can give you is to practice in advance. This applies to all communication. Determine the goals that you have regarding different types of communication tasks in connection to your examination proceedings. Decide on the necessary communication methods required for you to achieve these goals. Remember that the public examination and media interviews are all about interaction. You must be able to make accurate social observations, convey and interpret meanings appropriately and effectively, and maintain interaction between the participants. The most important thing is for you to choose a set of preparation methods that feel right for you. However, there are a few universal things you should consider doing, namely eating and sleeping well, drinking enough water and exercising at least lightly during your examination week. How and what should you practice doing? You can ask your colleagues to form a group of practice opponents, give them your introductory lecture and request feedback from them. Does the structure of your introductory lecture work? How did the interaction between you, the candidate, and your audience go? Did you establish sufficient eye contact with them and provide examples and utilize varying tones of voice to help your listeners absorb the information? During your imaginary examination, sit in front of your colleagues and let them ask questions about your research. If you decide not to use this method, Try to visualize the situation instead. Imagine what would you ask if you were your opponent? What are the weaknesses of your dissertation? What about its strengths? You should think about answers to these questions in advance and practice them out loud. During your examination, you will feel more confident interacting with the others because it will not be the first time you hear yourself defending your decisions. The same goes for giving interviews to the media. I would like to remind the custos and the opponent of the following things. Custos, please make sure that the opponent has received sufficient information about the nature of the event, the dress code and appropriate language and register. It is also vitally important that the microphones are working and will let the audience follow the discussion throughout the examination. If the microphones are fixed to the table, turn them to face the candidate and the opponent. You can also ask the audience whether they can hear them or not. A public examination can take quite a long time and it's very unfortunate for the audience if they cannot hear what is being said or they can't make out the questions and replies. Furthermore, pouring water for the candidate and the opponent is no meager task. Opponent. You have an important role in the proceedings and you carry the main responsibility for making sure that the examination proceeds smoothly and the atmosphere of interaction remains positive or at least respectful. The audience will consist mainly of the candidates, friends and relatives who would like to see the candidate in their special day to shine and celebrate the end of their demanding years of research. And this is not an easy situation for the opponent because the audience will root for the candidate and may seem to place more value on their words. A good way to start the examination is to ask questions that will relax the candidate. Even if the dissertation contains several problematic elements, the interaction between you and the candidate does not need to create added pressure or awkwardness. You should also mention the dissertation's strengths, directing your words clearly to the candidate. The opponent has more power and status in the situation that should be used responsibly. Your role is to determine the nature of interaction between the two of you, and you will receive better and more comprehensive answers to your questions if the candidate feels that you are not just assessing them, but you're also sincerely interested in hearing their arguments. In an optimist situation, a public examination is a dialogue between two academics. Doctoral candidate. 
Please note that preparing for your public defense involves many elements. These include organizing the coffee straight after the examination, booking facilities, responding to interview questions from the media, writing your introductory lecture, planning the banquet, and many others. Ask other people for help and delegate some of the tasks. Many of your friends and family members will want to help you in any way they can. Do not spread yourself too thin, because you will need time to prepare, concentrate, take care of yourself, and send out information about your completed research. Your brain, the most important tool during your public defense, deserves nurturing, so do not hesitate to do just that. Include these following things on your list of practical matters. Remember to book the auditorium. Remember to book another room for getting ready. You will be using this room with your custos and the opponent, and you can leave your things there until your examination has finished. You can have snacks there, refreshments, change clothes, take a breather, and relax before your examination. Once your examination is over, it is customary to serve coffee, perhaps with sweet or savory snacks for the whole audience. And therefore, you should also remember to order these and book a facility where the coffee will be served. You can estimate the number of people joining you for a coffee based on how many friends, family members, and colleagues you expect to show up. You can then add a few professors and students to this figure, depending on how widely your examination has been promoted, or if your research topic is of particular social interest. Other people are likely to come and listen to your public defense as well. The number of people can therefore vary between 50 to 150. And you should discuss this with the department and the catering company and decide what preparations need to be made. If you're planning to serve sparkling wine, check in advance that it's allowed in the facilities. Your department or other unit will probably pay for the travel expenses and accommodation of your opponent. However, you should double-check that someone is taking care of this and all parties are aware of the relevant details, such as the dress code. Do visit the examination room before the event. This will also help you manage performance anxiety. If you are familiar with surroundings and know what sort of equipment there is, such as lectern and table microphones and what the distance between you and your opponent is going to be, you will be better able to anticipate what is going to happen and prepare for it. The situation will include several elements that are new to you and you will experience many things for the first time in your life, which is why it's sensible to reduce the amount of new information your brain is asked to absorb by familiarizing yourself with the facilities in advance. You should also take the necessary materials to your table before the proceedings start, including pens and your lecture notes. This way you will not accidentally leave them behind when entering the auditorium. If you plan to use the projector during your lecture, test that the equipment works well before others arrive. Agree with your opponent and your custos to meet up sufficiently early before the examination and ensure that at least the custos has everyone's contact information in case something goes wrong. Bringing snacks with you to the preparation room for your examination day is a good idea. You could have a cup of coffee or maybe a sandwich with your custos and opponent before the examination, but something unexpected might also occur. For example, my opponent forgot to arrive at the preparation room at the agreed time and we had to try to reach him from his hotel, which meant that we didn't have time to go and have a snack. Well, luckily I had brought some fruit, some rice cakes and nuts with me and we were able to share them. If your examination turns out to be long in duration and the custos proposes a break, it would be good to have some easy snack items waiting for you in the preparation room. Finally, a few words about supportive communication. Once you know whether you will be sitting on the right side or the left side of the auditorium, 
you can tell your friends and family to sit in your line of sight. Because most of the time you will be facing your opponent. And that's why you should ask your friends and family to sit opposite to your opponent. Encouraging smiles and nodding will provide you with support during the examination and you can see how well you're doing at times when you're not quite sure. During your examination, people are likely to take pictures of you. You might want to consider buying flowers and placing them on the table in front of you for photographs. However, the placement of the flowers should depend on the auditorium. Should you place them in the center of the auditorium or in front of Gustus or on the table in front of the opponent, whichever you choose, the stems should be relatively short so that you or your Gustus are not obscured from the view. You are likely to be photographed a lot and flowers will add color and elegance to pictures taken in the auditorium. You may also want to have a video or some other type of recording of your public defense. And it's polite to request permission for this from the other participants, the opponent in particular, and discuss the ways in which the recording can be used. In conclusion, I recommend that you keep reminding yourself as often as possible of the reasons you wrote your dissertation. Gracefully accept praise, acknowledgements, emotional reactions and pats on the back. Enjoy your day and plan it according to what you want. Tailor it to meet your wishes. The emotional, physical, even financial investments may be significant. So enjoy this period in your life. And if possible, take a few days off after your examination day, smelling the flowers you received, looking through the pictures that were taken, sleeping in or going out. Life after a doctorate will be well worth all the effort 